What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Dying Light. If you're wondering why I'm sitting on a pause screen right now, it's because the game started a cutscene without me realizing it was going to do it. And so I desperately, I screamed a little bit. I screamed, I sweated profusely real fast, and then I went, eh! And then I basically just shut the whole thing down. So here we go! Train here. I could really use some GRE support right now. That's too bad, Agent Crane. This is the Ministry of Defense. Fuck, what the hell's going on? What happened to the GRE? The global relief efforts position here has been diminished. We are in charge now, and we have declared Haran a Code 1 target zone. Wait, 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 just hang on. You, you can't just carpet bomb this place. There are still hundreds of innocent people in here, maybe thousands. Irrelevant. We're doing this to protect billions of lives. Surely you can understand that. Okay, okay just, just listen. There's this scientist in here named Zara, and he's been doing research on a cure, and he's really close. I've seen the research. If you bomb the city, just... Acknowledged. The chances of one scientist in a wrecked city coming up with useful results are negligible at best, but... You have 48 hours. Okay, so apparently we're operating under a code 1, which if I know anything about the universe is slightly like a code red, which is the most delicious of beverages. I actually don't like code red that much. I like normal Mountain Dew a lot better. I don't drink Mountain Dew very much anymore, though. I used to drink it all the time when I was younger. Like, seriously, Mountain Dew was what I was all about when I was younger. But honestly, I don't, I don't drink it that much anymore. I used to get, like, the diet version every now and again. But eh, I don't know. I don't feel like... It's not as bad as, like, Surge used to be, or, like, Jolt, for example, where it just felt your, like your eyes were vibrating after you finished it. But at the same time, a little too much caffeine for me at this point. I think we can all agree that I'm a little bit hyper to begin with. So adding insult to injury here, or at least adding anything else to the equation, seems to be like a negative reaction. For now, Dr. Zara is doing research, which is essentially to search something over and over and over again. Let's see here. We got Oh, that tricycle is dope. I like how they've got, like, a polygonal thing going on with it. It's very minimalist. I like that. I like that tricycle. Keep doing you. I'll see you later. <laughs> I think we should probably... Wait, do I have to hijack? Oh, I thought it wanted me to hijack the tricycle for a second. Look at our objectives right now. It kind of looks like we're supposed to hijack the tricycle, doesn't it? But I guess not. Is that lootable right there? That pipe looks pretty cool. I'll take these metal parts, though. How much ammo do I have left? See, I've got, like, so much trash around my desk right now that I can't even see my ammo indicators. Like, it's bad. It's really bad. I was supposed to sit down last weekend and have, like, a house cleaning experiment, and it just didn't happen. Like, typically, I try and clean on Saturdays because it's like my hair. Turn on this light. There we go. I love illumination. Let's get inside here. But, yeah, I was supposed to clean. Wait, is this where? Or am I going downstairs? Hmm. What's, uh, what's going on here? It looks like downstairs is probably where we want to be, although there's a considerable amount of blood down there, so that's a little bit worrying. Do I go maybe... There's a bike lock around that door. Do I push this? Ah, there it is. See, I missed the button. I just wanted a man hit... Maybe I can pry it open. Well, we are known for our prying eyes. Perhaps we shall give our prying hands a walk. Eh. Yeah, get that. Wow, our hands are looking a little messed up. It definitely looks like we've been punching fools. That's for sure. Let's see. Oh, I don't know if I don't know if this is the wisest idea. How do I fix this? Is there some way to jump down there without like annihilating myself? Well. Oh, there's a grapple. Oh no. Oh, that was awesome. And also sort of terrifying and painful. How was I supposed to do that? Just so I know for future, I was supposed to... Looks like I can grab onto these. Was I supposed to fall, like, to my horrible foot death? Alright, well, whatever. Probably won't make our track career any better, but what are you gonna do? Onwards, I'm not gonna think about it. It's too late. It's too late. Let's just move forward. Alright. Turn off that flashlight, because I hear the sound of sharpening taking place. No, not you. Not you. I want to see if I can throw an... Yeah. There we go. Shurikens will do it. I'm ready for some shuriken action. Get my sho get my Shinobi on. My Joe Musashi. Was that his name? I think that was Shinobi's name. I don't know. Shinobi 2 and 3 were probably my favorites. Shinobi 1 was good. And actually, given the choice, is he a bad guy or a good guy? I think he's a... Can I take him right now? What happens if I try and, like... Can I sneak up and execute him? That's not a thing that I can do. Okay, so I don't think... There's a military throwing knife right there. There we go. 
Ooh. All right. I don't think we had to disarm him as such, but it looks like it took place, so it's too late to think of. Did somebody get murdered with a toothpick? Oh, no, never mind. That's a pencil. I know the difference between a toothpick and a pencil. Wow, his head got a lot more grisly once we removed it. He's got awesome shades, though. It seems like sort of a waste to leave him here. You could always use more badass shades. That's one of the facts about life that I figured out. All right, so I think there was another one around this corner. I was hoping that we might have some kind of, like, stealth kill thing that we could do, but it looks like that's not... I mean, we did technically stealth kill him. However... Okay, so that guy's going to turn over here. I don't know if I'm supposed to get inside of here without, like, getting caught. I'm not sure what the goal is right now. Is and off with his head. Oh, we might have made friends. Hold on. Yeah, we made a friend. A very, very red friend. Oh, don't even try that. You can block ninja stars out of the air? What are you, like a mutant or a sorcerer? Oh my god. I feel like this plan is not going so great. I mean, I'm going to keep spamming him because I feel like there's probably going to be an ending at some point to, like, what he's able to block. But, yeah, get dealt with. Now that you're stunned up, set you on fire because I enjoy immolating people. Hey, hey, I used the word immolating in a video one time, and everybody was like, I think the word is actually emulating. Like, seriously, it was surprising how maybe I just have bad enunciation. I don't know. But I said, like, I immolated him, and everybody was like, actually, I think the word you're looking for is emulated. <laughs> I'm like, oh, no. Immolated was pretty much the word that I was looking for. It's the one that I was shooting for. I think maybe I enunciated weird or something. Like, I was like, eh, emulation or something. I don't know. Emulation is what happens when Emma Stone comes around. Let's see here. We got, what does this do? Uh, it breaks is what it does. That's a huge syringe. If my doctor came into the room with that, like, underarm, I'd be like, oh my god, what disease do I have? What has gone wrong here? It was just supposed to be a routine checkup. You're like, yeah, well, things went a little awry. Now you have a horrible disease. How do you feel about that right now? And I'm like, I feel pretty terrible about it. That's scary. You'll forgive me for a second as I loot. The Ninja Stars actually did pretty well. They're pretty good at, like, blocking stuff out of the air, though, which is really, really surprising. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm definitely feeling a little outclassed, that's for sure. Somebody's just using the wall for their doodles. Some complicated doodles with some molecular bonding and some other good stuff. Covalent, ionic, ooh. Somebody remembers chemistry class, kind of. I was there some of the time. Obviously, I had to get through it because I, I finished college, so there it is. That's a really nice actual, they don't make them like that anymore. That's like one of the really, really nice pieces of luggage you used to see back in the 70s, except with like a rolly thing on it. I remember when all they had back in the day was like suitcases, before things had wheels on the bottom of them. Apparently we had to think about the fact that wheels on the bottom of luggage would be convenient at some point, because that did not always exist, kids. Where are you, old friend? He's not my friend, I don't even know this guy. He didn't even give us the time of day, in fact he gave us a shot. I don't like anybody that gives me shots. I always felt like that should be the unofficial, you know that Lil John song where he's like, shots, is that Lil John who did that? Anyways, he's got the shots, 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 I always felt like that should be like the theme song of doctor's offices everywhere, just in case. It's like the theme song of, va of vaccinations. That'd be pretty awesome. Be pretty awesome. I feel like you would probably be able to market shots at least a little bit better. Oh my god, you sociopaths are shooting teddy bears again, I see. Well, that's fun for you. However, for me, that seems to be a little bit worrisome means you've been practicing, and I don't feel like getting shot right now. Hey, what's up, teddy bear? He's like, oh, you know, just a life racked with anxiety and just waiting for the moment to come. Luckily, they're bad at aiming, but you never know. Today could be the day. Today could be the day. I'm like, well, rest well, teddy bear. It's not your fault. It's not your fault. Oh! How'd you feel about that? How did you feel about that? I guess I'll kick your head in since I don't really have a choice. It seems a little brutal for me right now. Strangely enough, I feel okay about kicking... Wait, wait, wait. A sword? No, 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 no. We need to look at this right now. A Sapahi Saber? What? We have a Schwert? Oh, man. Put it in instead of the Club Hammer. It's got better damage anyways. Yeah. There it is. How much durability does it have? It has 38. How does that compare with our... It has 54 right there. Oh, I have a sword. I am the greatest warrior in the land. Bring forth all of your magical artifacts that I might apply them to my paladin's quest. I don't know when I got on a paladin's quest, but it was recent. I wrote it down in my notebook. Clearly, I'm on a paladin's quest right now. Hold on. Cabling? Can you come? See, sometimes that cabling is lootable, and sometimes it's not. It's very, very arbitrary. Military throwing knives? Sure, don't mind if I diddly-doodly. What do we got going on? What is that? 
Was that bullets? What was that in there? Did I pick those up on my own? I feel like I should be shooting people right now. Should I be shooting people right now? I'm gonna shoot people right now. I've got the bullets. Why not? Broken. I couldn't find Zara inside. The building looks empty, though. There's an underground level. Maybe he's down there. How would you know about that? Did you live here before? Are you a spy that you used to- Wait, 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 wait. Kitty picture. That kitty is adorable. I want to hug that kitty in its face all day long. Just be like, come here, you fuzzy little bastard. You cute little bitch. Come here and let me just like rub all over you. Just like, meow. And the kitty's like, no. And I'm like, yes, kitty, it is time. It is time for the cuddles, which you never desire. My cat's actually, one of my cats loves being manhandled. Like, he's a giant cuddle bug all day, every day. He'll sit on your lap 24 hours a day if you'll let him. Just sit there and rumble. And actually, he hugs you, too. It's the weirdest thing. He actually, wow. I kind of feel bad for purchasing ammo. Like, hear what I mean? You should just work for Brecken. Purchasing ammo is for suckers. I'll take the power cable, I guess. If we get into a fight, I'll come back and I'll reload from over here, I suppose. But yeah, one of my cats is like a super cuddle bug. And he'll let you huddle it with him all day long. The other cat likes occasional pets. Like, she'll, she'll sit down on your lap. And it's weird. She'll sit down and she'll purr. But if you touch her, she stops purring and she doesn't want to be touched. All that she wants is for you to, like... Yeah! First person shooter skills! Aim down scope. So I can make you lose your hope. With my bullets through your brain, you probably won't feel much pain. Because it's over with. Give me loot. Over with. Give me loot. There it is. So we got $150 from murdering a guy. Apparently murdering people is very, very profitable. This is like, oh my god. They've been like murder wagons in here. It's incredible. Who else are we up against? I know we're up against somebody right now. Gonna be hiding up in some corners, causing problems. I know it. Gonna be sneaking back in. See, how did I know? Ow! Stop shooting me. Stop shooting me. Run away faster. Why are you not sprinting right now? I feel like it's very, very imperative. Oh! What was that right there? What was the... I will die for... I don't think that I will because I aim better than you guys. I think I need to bring my, my scope... Yeah, I think I need to bring my... After this episode, I need to take my sensitivity up a little bit because I'm having trouble, like, precision aiming at a distance. It feels a little tight right now. Like, this right here is my entire mouse pad. Like, that right there is pretty much my entire mouse pad, and so I think I need to adjust that slightly. Haven't been using guns much, so it hasn't been something that I've noticed, but hey, we're doing pretty well with the pistol thus far. I might hold on to this thing for a while. What's in here? Gauze. Gauze. Ow. Okay. Clearly being outraced right now. There we go. A couple of headshots off. I was hoping that maybe I would get like some kind of XP bonus for shooting people in the face, but I guess I don't. Ow! That's what I get for trying to parkour in the middle of combat. I'm trying to be a badass right now so that I can get those endorsement deals from Nike, and unfortunately it's just not coming together the way that I wanted it to. We need more magnets, or more glue, or more duct tape or something before the plan's gonna come together like a- Don't even try it, bitch. Get out of here. I shoot you repeatedly! Alright. See, the problem here is that I'm exchanging fire. I feel like the goal is not to exchange fire, simply to give fire. Bullets are like a gift that you just have to give to the people that you care least about. It's the opposite of Christmas presents. Unless you fancy, like, shooting people for Christmas. Although I can't imagine that the police department would be okay with that. I know you didn't just try and shoot me from behind a hand truck. It's offensive, man. It's offensive. Alright, let's break out the good stuff. Let's break out the good stuff. This firefight's getting... Yeah! Alright, I'm feeling better now. I'm feeling better now. I like the... I think that we're on this... We're on even footing. I think that's the difference here. Loot that rifle ammo. Is this better than the one that I currently have? Because if it's better than the one that I'm currently equipped with, I don't feel good about that. I want to go back and loot people too. Where's my cash at? Where are my stacks at? There it is. A little bit more rifle ammo. That's full up, but I will take... What is that? Med kits? I don't know what that's supposed to be, but we're not allowed to loot it. Got like some chemicals right there. That seems pretty good. Anything hiding back in here, huh? Yeah, a little bit of gauze so I can make myself some med kits just in case we... Oh, that gun is better than mine. That one's got a little bit better of damage. I don't think it matters that much. Here, let me... Hold on, inventory time. What can I do with you right now? You're 137? Get on out of here, 137. He's like, you call me by my name. My name is Frank. I'm not just, am I just a number to you? Is that what it comes down to? I'm like, yeah, you're pretty much just like an inanimate object, dude. I don't really like, I don't, I don't give you the sort of like capabilities and attributes that I would normally assign to a human. He's like, well, maybe you should. Then you'd be in the possession of a sentient gun right now. How awesome does that sound? Sentient gun, huh? 
We're like, eh, I feel like you'd be second guessing my murderous decisions. But like, are you sure you want to do this? You'd be like the paperclip back in office. Like, are you sure you missed a comma? Who is it? Who's there? Relax, Doc. It's me. Green. Thank God. Listen, this is important. I'm not safe anymore, obviously. But my research must not die with me. You're not gonna die, Doc, but right now we have to get out of here. So please, lower your voice. Oh, oh, yes, all right. But understand, my research, it must reach Dr. Camden. That's why I gave the packages to Jade. I know you said you would deliver them, but she was there, and time being of the essence. Doc? Uh -huh. So, it takes no more than a false hope of rescue to loosen the good doctor's lips. Hunt the scorpion down, spare no resource. With pleasure. And these two? What should we do with them? You'll never find her. Never. And I'll never talk. You'll get nothing from me. I am less concerned with making you talk, doctor, than I am in preventing your escape. <laughs> Sadistic fuck, he's an old man! <laughs> Give the doctor some first aid. And take her into the pit. It just goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay to shoot like normal adults, but once they're old or young, you're not allowed to stab them anymore. Found Zara, but before I could get him out of there, Rice ambushed us. I'm not sure what Rice has planned for us, but whatever it is, I'm sure it's not gonna be pleasant. I know what I have planned for Rice. I'm about to steam that stuff tonight and put it with some teriyaki chicken. It's gonna be amazing. Pretty excited about it. I think it's going to be a good evening. Stand him up. Oh, shit. Doc. You come to us like a snake in the grass. Here, in a city of lies, you are the biggest liar of them all. What are you talking about? Answer me, motherfucker! Yes. Lose control. That is what you Americans are so good at, after all. If I... Not bad. Clear out the corpses. Leave, Crane. Yes, sir. Entering dark area? What the hell is that? Oh, shit. Alright, so maybe we should, like, come up with a weapon or something? I don't know. It feels as though we're a little bit under-equipped for this experience. Oh, look, there's... Yeah, a floor plank. Ooh, a concrete rebar. I might save that for later. I might save that for later, just in case something big comes along. However, I think I can make... No! I hate that little attachment thing that they do, where they just, like, attach to you from super far away. You know what? I think drop kicking might be my best plan here. Unless there's booby- oh no, there's spiky things over here. Okay, so we got spiky things. We've got a cinder block. Why do they call them cinder blocks? I don't think that I've ever lit anything on fire or had- Hey, hey. I'm trying to talk about cinder blocks right now. How dare you- How dare you interrupt this honorable exchange about the brickwork of the past, future, and present. Eh. Here, go into those spikes right there. I mean, technically, I only really need to knock them down because then I can use my finishing move on them. So it's not so bad. I know you aren't walking up in here with one arm acting like you're going to be hard, right? Alright, so now that we've verified that you are not hard enough to back up the threat that you just made, I just drop kicked three of you simultaneously. How do you feel right now? Probably pretty terrible would be my guess. If I got dealt with four on one like that, I'd just be like, damn, I just got outclassed. Oh, that one's speedy. That one got problems. That is a little bit more concerning than the previous couple. Yeah. I jump over your head. And then onto this block right here. No. Oh, you can climb too? Oh, I can kick your head off. How do you like that if, while we're displaying superpowers here? How do you enjoy... Oh, and kicked your head off too. That's okay. Keep coming into my spider web, everybody. 
Enjoy the fact that you're about to die. So how many... Is there another one? Oh, there they are, right there. Well, off you go. I like how I'm getting a lot of XP for this, though. I should probably learn to pay attention better, but yeah. This is how I'm going to weed out all the weaklings. Can I climb up out of here? Am I supposed to, or am I supposed to just hang out and kill all this stuff? It appears as though there might be an escape route here. Hmm. Well, that rebar isn't looking super good. But... Ooh, we got a tank over here? Okay. Alright. Hey. Hey. How did you get up here? That's odd. How are you hitting me with no arm? You clearly just swung your left arm at me. There we go. Fall on your head and just go away for a little while. Let's have a look around the arena. See if we can figure out where we're supposed to be right now. I think our health is a little bit low for this to be long-term sustainable, so we should probably figure out like some way to get the hell out of here. Yeah, kick your head off, please. Who am I being hit by right now? Like, I hate the way these little nasty sprinty zombies just have like the tendency to get around behind you without you noticing. Do they just keep spawning, or is there going to be like a finite amount of these that I can kill eventually? I do feel like respawning is the thing of the day. Well... Try to create a medkit. Yeah, I don't think that's going to go so well. I think they're respawning, actually. I think I just saw him up here on camera. So... Let's do our best to knock a couple of these jokers down. And once we do, we shall apply the boots to them heavy style. Extra spicy boot application. Oh, they stick to those too. Well, that's good. That's a plus. You got any consumables for me? Anything that looks useful? Because these weapons are really, really whack. Like, they aren't doing anything for me right now. $7 might be able to bribe one of the zombies and be like, Hey, zombie, you want $7? I will give you $7 right now if you choose somebody else to be your lunch. Couple of guys up there. All right. <laughs> I smack a you in the head with a projected stick. Get off my trailer. This is my trailer. My personal space. No. Bad zombie. You are unwelcome. I don't like how you're just hopping up here and not allowing me the opportunity to one-shot you. All right. Time to go. Yeah, I think those respawn or something. I'm not sure. It appears to be the case. It appears to be the case. Let me see if maybe I can get them up here a little bit of a safer way. There we go. That'll work. Keep on climbing up. Yes. Both of you. Oh, you broke your head on the ground. You lost the game. The game is called Don't Break Your Head on the Ground. It's actually kind of like a lifelong human endeavor. It's one of these things that we've been kind of like searching for in society. It's the long attempt. It's the long game. Yes, I understand that my health is low because I'm bad at video games. Thank you. Ah, the crumpled rebar will do it, though. Maybe. Ooh, a DIY throwing knife and some firecrackers? Whoa. Okay. Sure. Well, there's only one left over here. Yeah, get rid of her. It one-shots everything, I think. The rebar hammer tends to be pretty useful. Oh, we got alcohol. That might work. Do we have anything to make a band-aid with? Let's see. I bet we don't, but I want to. So we've only got one alcohol, and we need a gauze. Can I lockpick to get out of here? Like, what's the ultimate plan? Oh, dealt with, sir. Dealt with. There we go. Word of your feet here will spread. Such a shame you'll be a corpse by then. Will I, though? I'm feeling pretty good about my chances right now. First people attempt at controlling your own destiny, Crane. Too little, too late, I fear. Impressive. For a walking dead man. I do enjoy The Walking Dead. So, I guess you could describe me as a walking dead man. Are they coming in behind me? Oh, no, we're good. All right, so I'm going to break the episode off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of Dying Light. This could prove to be quite the little challenge. We need to find ourselves some goodies. I'm hoping that, like, somewhere laying around here, I will find some gauze or something useful to get my health back. But I'm not going to hold out for it for too long. I 
if we could find some string or something, we might be able to get away with making some Molotovs or something too, which I think would long-term extend our life expectancy. However, I will see you all later. Take care out there, everybody, and as always, I do.